An orb weaver is a spider that spins an orb web for catching prey. Orb webs are incredible works of art and engineering. For some orb weavers, the events leading up to mating are just as amazing. These courtship rituals are particularly fascinating when you consider that the male orb weavers are sometimes much smaller and more slender than their mates. Mating for them is done in defiance of death. This is the case with the golden orb spider, Nephiloclavapes. As you can see, the male is pathetically small. He definitely takes his life in his hands when approaching the female. After all, she is a dangerous killing machine. Male spiders have a unique setup for <clears throat> making babies. At the front of the head region, or cephalothorax, of both males and females, is a set of mouth parts called pedipalps. The female uses hers for manipulating prey. Pretty ordinary setup. In the case of the male, his pedipalps are not only enlarged at the ends, but inside is a coiled tube for holding semen. To charge his pedipalps, the male builds a sperm web, on which he places a drop of his love potion. Then he dips his special syringes into the droplet. Now he's ready to approach the female. To minimize his chances of being eaten, the male Nephla often waits until the female is preoccupied with feeding. She hardly seems to notice his advances, which are conducted with a certain delicacy to improve his chances of survival. In the case of the orchard spider, another common Florida species, the male is somewhat larger in relation to his mate. Make no mistake though, she's still large and in charge. And although his courtship is a bit more vigorous than Nephila's, it is, if anything, more dangerous. When the male orchard spider approaches, the female definitely knows it. The male seems to be a bundle of nerves, but who can blame him? We see three components or strategies in the male's courtship ritual. First, after boldly entering the female's web, we see the male shaking it vigorously, letting her know that this is no ordinary bug that has been ensnared. Next, we see him using the hooks on the ends of his legs to pluck the silken threads. Looks like Loverboy is trying to play some love music. We're not sure if she thinks he's a rock star or dinner. The male draws closer and then gets cold feet. There is one more strategy he can try before admitting defeat. He can wave those pedipalps before her, showing off his boxing gloves. Will that impress? Maybe not. In nature, as in business, timing is everything. Come back tomorrow, Mr. Orchard Spider. Maybe you'll have better luck then.